Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is the Apostate Prophet. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. We have decided to go live earlier today than usual because uh, of a lack of professionalism on David Wood's part. And here's my my partner, David Wood. Uh, hello, David Wood. How are you doing? We're live discussing the epic Destiny versus Sneeko debate. Just sending out this link to everyone. Oh, good, good, good. Powerful. So, yes. So, what's up? What's up, David? Do you know what do you know about Destiny and Sneeko? Uh, I haven't seen this. I saw one little clip that was circulating of uh, Destiny asking Sneeko to say what the age of consent is. But uh, anyone who has seen five minutes of either one of these guys knows this is a pretty I can't think of a bigger mismatch than than this. You know what I mean? <laughs> like you can't if you if you went and if you went and picked two people in the entire world to be the most lopsided debate ever, it might be it might be these two guys. <laughs> because Destiny is uh is very sharp mm -hmm. and a very good debater and very yep. quick and Pretty intelligent, no matter what you think of him and, and his worldview and uh, whatever it is. And that's important what you just said, like, because people, what? You're saying you agree with? No, we're not. We're just talking debating. I, you know, I, I disagree with tons of stuff that Matt Dillahunty said. The man's a brutal debater. Some people are just wired. Some people are just wired to pick up on things and fire right back. And they, they, they process things really quickly and fire right back. And Destiny is one of those guys who, again, I haven't even seen. I've seen, like, probably... A couple of clips that we watched at some point in in live streams or something like that that's i haven't seen a lot of destiny but the you could watch one five minute clip of him interacting with someone where it gets heated and you're like wow this guy's really quick like weren't you there uh, when weren't you at a debate that he also was in modern for modern day debate it doesn't mean i went and saw it okay okay i, I do see. i do my debate and then i go hang out with cool people I do my debates. I don't care about the rest. No, I don't remember what the topic was, but yeah, I didn't. Uh, I didn't check it out. I always yeah. figure uh, I go. I can if it. Uh, if I hear some news that I need to watch this, I can just go ahead and ch check it out later and play it on like one point five speed. Well, the the funny thing about this is you are bringing up an important issue, which is that this is a big mismatch because on the one hand you have. Um, a very smart and quick guy like Destiny. On the other hand, you have Sneeko, <laughs> who is just embarrassingly bad. Uh, but the, the the issue, the funny part about all of this is that apparently Destiny was live talking to uh, different people, like this this streamer uh, XQC, who has like I don't know twelve million followers or something, and I never heard of him. That that's how out of touch I am with with streamer pop culture, but. Um, and then Sneeko apparently joined the conversation as kind of an ambush situation <laughs> to ambush. Wait, he pulled a Muhammad. He pulled a Muhammad job when you were going on with uh, with Adam uh, Adam Saleh or whatever his name yeah, is. Yes, yeah, yes, you yes. go on their show, and then the, hey, you want to come on for an interview? Yeah, sure, I'll come on for an interview. Get there, and ha ha! Muhammad Hijab jumps out from behind the curtain. He, yes, pulled that, yes. he pulled that move. Hey, he tried to do that and he got so embarrassed. It's that's like funny though, because I mean, I was sitting there I, when you're saying, I'm like, what doesn't he have? He should have handlers by now. I don't mean that, that we want him to have handlers. I'm saying from an Islamic perspective, if you've got someone who's popular on social media and he's giving you access to his fans for Dawa, you want to protect that guy from being humiliated so Sheikh Uthman or Muhammad Hijab, Ali, they should all be telling that dude, you need to stay away from public embarrassment and humiliation. Whatever you do, do not go on with an actual debater to discuss some point because you're just gonna, they're just they're going to completely humiliate you. And Islam, by extension, when we're cheering for you as our, as our new champion and hero and representative in the Dawa community, and if you just if you get obliterated, so just stay away from that dude. And keep keep in mind, even from a non-Islamic perspective, dude, you're you're a pretty brand new Muslim. It, it wouldn't matter what your belief is, even if it were correct, you don't go on against someone who's just gonna just gonna rip you to shreds. 
I don't know. It kind of reminds me of that thing where he goes up against a boxer and the boxer just beats his face in for until, you know, it looks like he's he's ready to just break in half. Maybe he just, I don't know, maybe he has some weird fetish or something. Yeah. But we we are going to see what's happened. What will happen to Mr. Borelli? Mr. Borelli. Um, for those who don't know, this is how Norman Finkelstein was referring to destiny by different names. Mr. Borelli, Mr. Burnell, Mr. Borelli, Mr. Morelli. Uh, <laughs> the guy has a problem. But um. I see now that so it has been clipped into an 11 minute video on Destiny's own channel. Uh, but as I was looking at that, I also noticed that there is uh, that afterwards, just today, uh, another clip was published where he's actually reviewing Mohammed Hijab, where he's reviewing Sneeko consulting Mohammed Hijab about child marriage. <laughs> This is going to be very interesting. Uh, <laughs> look, look at Des is that, <laughs> that's Destiny there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's funny. Yeah. Um, the bad thing look, about I've Destiny seen... is that he always streams like this with himself very small in the corner. So, yeah, I've yeah. seen uh, lots of these guys when they find it, and this is this is what's really awesome about the age that we're in right now, ladies and gentlemen. You got all these people finding out about Islam, and then like right now, I don't know what he's talking about right there, but. Uh, that's the sort of look of, am I seriously, am I seriously sitting here analyzing a clip of whether it's okay to bang little kids? Is, is seriously <laughs> the 21st century? This is, this is where, this is where, this is where the world is at. Whoa. Okay. I see that, uh, the whole thing with the whole exchange between destiny and sneak was apparently like 40 minutes long, but it has been, uh, shortened into 10 minutes here. So let's, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. I hope he. Uh, I hope he. I hope he explained to uh, Destiny about the uh, how the book of the Council of Nicaea was taken out of the Bible. Well, we just see. We'll see. It just backfired. Swan there. Like, am I delusional here, or like? No. What are you talking about? So, is it intention of the word? Because Who the clearly, he's joined. Cut. Clearly, Cuffham does yeah. not hate gay people. Okay, so um, this is kind of jumping into the whole debate in the middle of it, uh, because this is the relevant part about. Uh, Sneaker joining the call and getting grilled by destiny. Um, it's also interesting to see that this is, this is the censored version because uh, the uncensored version is very, very heavy language. So, yeah. People, so is it the word or the intention? Why do we say clear? That's, there's nothing clear about that. How do we know that? He just, said, not, he, he just said he doesn't hate gay people. That's what I'm saying. Wait, if brother. somebody says they don't gay people, that means they don't hate gay people? Since when has that ever been the standard by which we determine? <laughs> yeah, he says he doesn't hate gay people. <laughs> he just The man just said it. <laughs> he just said it in front of your face. So, case closed. And this guy over here, he's in prison. He says he didn't commit those crimes. He said it right there, Judge. He said it, Your Honor. What more could oh. you ask for, members of the jury? Oh, boy. Look at, look at Destiny's chat here. <laughs> Nico, why? Why is Coco here? <laughs> Perfect time to bring in Sneeko. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the fin grand finale, 2024, cuck off. Uh, okay, so you can change being a f Like, you can stop doing that. Right? You can't, when you call Cuff him a thug, is he can't change his skin color. He's always going to be black. Wait, okay, hold on. Wait, nothing about thug has... Wait, so okay, two things. Wait, 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 two things. Two, a couple things, couple things. Wait. So it's not, it's not... So we're using protected class and everything, but usually it's a proxy for, like, these things probably shouldn't be bad things. So if you make fun of somebody for being broke, right, usually it's because being broke is a bad thing. Nobody wants to be broke. Broke people don't want to be broke. If you make fun of somebody for being fat, well, nobody wants to be fat. Like, even fat people don't want to be fat. If yeah, you make somebody be for being gay, well, the implication is that, like, being gay must be bad the same with and it being fat or being broke is the, the, the reason that uh, i don't understand the, how the how the censorship is being applied here it, it looked like he just said gay and that was censored i don't know that's weird <laughs> offended when you say that word is because they don't actually want to be no that's the reason they get offended is word. because they think that other people are loading that word in a really negative way and they're being hateful with it no it comes from a deep-rooted shame that they're never going to be <laughs> okay small <laughs> here's the end. you got sneako psychoanalyzing <laughs> <laughs> gay people <laughs> so the background here is apparently that uh what uh, that that there was a a fight about somebody calling someone a a, a slur for gay people and then somebody else in response calling them 
a slur for or calling them thugs or gangsters or something like that. And there was a whole discussion around it. And then Sneaker jumped into the conversation about uh, when it's okay and not okay to call people things. And I think the context then is uh, that Destiny goes into how how do you decide whether something is offensive or not? And then he brings the topic to Islam, and that's where it gets out of control. <laughs> Receptive for who they are. It, really? That's, that's not is that reason, so? Yeah. Wait, is that why Muslims being, are the most? Wait, wait, is that why Muslims are the most fragile people on the internet? Then it's because when you make fun of their religion, they get so ass mad about it that they come out and they attack literally every fucking person they see. Even if it means beheading people in a comic <laughs> yeah, well, He's like, got a point, right? <laughs> He's got a point. Wait, so so let me follow this because I I didn't I didn't know, I didn't know, I didn't fully understand. So it sounded like Sneeko. Gosh, am I getting this right? It sounded like. Uh, Destiny is talking about someone calling people gay, and then Sneeko's pointing out that they get offended when you call them gay because deep down they're ashamed about being gay. And Destiny replied, "No, no, 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 no. It's because when you call them gay, they understand you're you're trying to insult them, and you're packing other things in there." <clears throat> and so Sneeko's saying, "If you get if you get easily offended, it's because deep down you're ashamed." And then and then Destiny replies, "Well, why are Muslims the most fragile people in the world?" <laughs> Because the, yes. implica the implication yeah. would be that it's because deep down they're ashamed of their craft religion. <laughs> this, this is this is this is the this is why I I don't even care where he stands, you know. But this this is why I admire the way that Destiny thinks during debates, because this is uh it, this is an, an, an objection that or uh just an, an idea that that uh very few people i would say in that moment would just would, would throw in and it's a very it's a it's quite a strong one but it's going to get much worse around and you've made fun of islam if that were that's true, because i live in the united be states be of america thank god but no so i'm asking you so then would you say every time a muslim lashes out of something because you make fun of their religion it's actually they have a deep-seated shame about it oh yes exactly <laughs> we got confirmation that i was correct in in my yes 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 he's sharp not because mm -hmm. of this morality thing because nobody wants to be fat nobody wants to be broke nobody, nobody wants, wants to be a muslim why do they get so offended when you make fun of them? <laughs> 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 Sneeko says that has nothing to do with what we're talking about. Okay, explain. Hey, <laughs> you have to explain so this that, is right? this is a perfect example of Sneeko's usually. It, I mean, Sneeko's used to interacting with some other dumb streamers and stuff. And what he just did, that's the sort of thing. It's like when he's interacting with somebody because they're oh, the book of the council. And I say, if he's talking to someone who doesn't know any who doesn't know any better, you can you can kind of get away with that stuff for a little while. And this is a situation where. Oh, the reason they the reason the gay community gets so offended is because deep down they're ashamed about it. That would that would like make sense, and he would get away with that to one of his regular streaming um, partners. You're messing with the wrong one right here, Sneeko, because he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna take whatever you say can and will be used against your religion. Here's That's the thing, though. It seems like here's the problem, though. Sneeko and Destiny know each other. Sneeko knows Destiny. They have a history. They That's have why a it long makes history. no sense. That's why it has yeah, to be. Yeah. He just likes getting uh, his face beat in. Destiny used to be, I think, smaller in terms of popularity and uh, streaming uh, platform and all that uh, compared to, to Sneeko. So Destiny was at some point, uh, I don't know, um, humbled by just Sneeko's appearance because of his large platform and all that and they used to interact a lot and uh kind of tease each other they uh they had they had some kind of friendship and all that uh at some point they started falling apart very very heavily and around the whole um conversion to to Islam uh issue by Sneeko things got really bad between them i in fact i still remember when i first uh in started interacting with destiny i uh I once brought up and said, uh, I really want to have a conversation here with Sneeko. And he told me it's not going to happen anymore because uh, we have literally blocked each other and we're not interacting with each other anymore. So, so th that's the problem. Ah, yeah. You thought we were gone. <laughs> so Sneeko actually knows Destiny. And despite that, he comes in and really wants to have a conversation or a debate knowing very well that he's going to be i don't know humiliated publicly embarrassed and, that, and that's what happened that's what happened that's what they do yeah you can tell and it's again it's either the dude just likes likes getting uh getting pummeled or 
or he can't help himself. He jumps into situations like this and has just zero hikma, no hikma. He's a low hikma individual, uh, or he's a plant. My goodness. Yeah, uh, yeah. I might not get the history right with streamers. Uh, Jeff Lynne said Destiny was always bigger than him. Sneeko clinged onto him like a leech. They mm. broke up after Sneeko became a Muslim and started insulting his wife and son. Oh, uh, okay. See, you totally misrepresented everything there. Yep. yep. <laughs> I guess Sneeko isn't the only one now who's been humiliated. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, Destiny Sneeko's daddy owned him so many times. That's just sneakophobic. Yeah. Not true, because you're still walking around and you've made fun of Islam. If that were That's true, that's because I live in the United States of America. Thank God. But no, so I'm asking. So then, because <laughs> you make fun of their religion, is that because they have a deep-seated shame about it? Did you see what he just did? He just took it, burned him, and then moved on. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's that what he awesome. does. That's what he does. Next, you see, draws a line there. It's not because of this morality thing, because nobody wants to be fat. Nobody wants to be broke. Nobody, nobody wants, wants to be a Muslim. Why do they get so offended when you make fun of them for it? <laughs> that's, that's not, that's, it has nothing to do with what we're talking about. Like, that's exactly. You said that people get offended for being gay because they're ashamed to be gay. So that's I'm asking you, then, okay, do people see, get offended by being called uh, Muslim me, because they're Muslim? Are they ashamed of being there. Muslims? The, the way he debates Kufum is he's going to equate yeah. being Muslim to being gay. Nobody gets. <laughs> This is so funny. You see what Sneeko is doing there immediately. He doesn't actually have a proper response to it. So he starts yeah, describing what Destiny is trying to do instead of actually responding to the point. Yeah, so again, <laughs> he he uh <laughs> Yeah, he he gives a response that would normally work with the people he usually interacts with and here it's not working and uh yeah. it's he's just caught off guard. It's like oh, I'm not used to people being smart and spotting the flaws in my argument at all. <laughs> They're usually so happy to be on my platform, they just giggle and nod at everything I say. <clears throat> Man. He gets offended. If, if a blue hair destiny calls me a Muslim, nobody's offended. Right? If I say if I call somebody gay and you're not gay, They'll get offended because nobody wants to be gay. They're not, they're not offended. They don't want to be around people that are hateful. They're upset because you're being hateful towards them. The same way that Muslims okay. get offended when you talk about their religion in a negative uh, way. Also, I think... Sneeko is not even getting the point right. I think the whole discussion started because somebody uh, used the word faggot to refer to a gay person. Mm. So it wasn't just about calling somebody gay. I think that, that, that they, they have kind of the right to be upset, right? To be kind of... Uh, I'm that they, they can't change, right? No, no, no. It doesn't have to do. No, it doesn't have to do. No, it doesn't have to do with can't ahead. change or can change. Like there, are th I, I, for instance, I, you can change your nationality. It doesn't necessarily mean you should attack somebody over their nationality. You can change like, I, the country you're living in or whatever. It's a. Well, that, that that's that's gonna it's gonna how that's like like my view on it. It's like I I I don't think it's it's a. Good... Is that XQC? I think the guy is a French French Canadian. So it's hard to listen to him. Yeah, no anyone, no anyone French or Canadian. The Canadians are terrible people. I mean, we have we established that. But uh, yeah, on top of, of that, maple French syrup Canadian. drinking. They go to Tim Hortons to order a big jug of maple syrup, and then they chug it. <laughs> yeah, imagine, imagine. That's yeah, yeah. Good thing you go around. Just being who you are and getting clapped on all the fucking time for it. I think it's just, I think it's, I think sure, it can feel bad, but I mean, like, insults are supposed to feel bad. But the question yeah, yeah, is, yeah, the course. question is, like, what do you want to make somebody feel bad for, right? If it's a bad characteristic, so if you think somebody's generally bad because they're like a C or a tanky or a brokey or they're fat or whatever, those are all like bad <laughs> characteristics. And you say, like, oh, well, yeah, you can make fun of people for these things. If you're making fun of, that's so funny. They, didn't, they, they censor the word Nazi when they clip it somebody for being gay the implication is you think that being gay is like a negative bad characteristic and that's why you're being bad for it that's why the person uh, that came here's, in here is here's the next issue is that if they, thinking that being gay is bad doesn't mean you hate gays right if i being fat is bad i don't hate fat people it's just it's yeah. gross like that thinking is. something is gross thinking broke being yeah. broke is gross or bad does not i don't hate broke people there's no rich, rich people don't hate broke people just like straight people don't hate gays it's just weird and disgusting you're allowed to be disgusted by something and not hate it <laughs> that's fine but the it's it's literally in the language you're using if you're expressing publicly that you think something is gross and disgusting the idea is you're being hateful towards it you can you can play word games like well it doesn't mean you hate it but i mean like it's essential it's oh infidel noodle what's up infidel noodle Nice to see you here, as always. Infidel Noodle said good morning, everyone, because she's living in a different time zone. 
on Mars, uh, also known as Australia, the place that David likes a lot for its people. Hey, hey, tell the, hey, hey, Infidel Noodle, you should jump in here. Yeah, you should jump in here, Infidel Noodle. You should jump in. You know how to contact me. Just jump in. Okay. Being expressed. I mean, I... I, I like to use extremes uh, to, to, to really draw to draw the picture, right? If you really think about it, why are you, why you say, stuttering? oh, I'm disgusted by a certain skin color? I mean, it's going to... Why are you why stuttering? <laughs> Whenever that, that guy speaks, that's all I think of. <laughs> uh, Infinite Luther said, haha, I would, but I'm about to head to work. Well, well, well. Oh, well, okay. Have Translation, fun. I don't like your crap channel, AP. I know she has nothing to do at all. All like it's a, it's a free day. She's going to enjoy her her day. She does just doesn't want to be part of this. I understand. I get it. It's okay. That's all right. You can just say it. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not going to be offended. It's fine. Uh, have you guys heard that five children were arrested in Sydney on terrorism charges? They believe it was inspired by the church stabbing. I haven't heard of it. Have you heard of it, David? No, but I will be looking that up right now. Look it up right now. They come off pretty hateful. Do you not agree? Yeah, of course. What? But you can't change your skin color. You you can change like you can just stop. Eat, you can stop kissing boys. So now you, you, can't, now... you can't change being black. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> hold on, hold on. Oh gosh, I don't even want to go into that. I'm pretty sure they're going to go into that now, but that's not really how it works. Sexual orientation and the manifestation of that of that sexuality are two different things entirely. Right? No, but being gay is a choice. That's a decision. Is, is that is that your worldview on it? That's just the truth. You choose to kiss. Is, is that your worldview or not? Did you say how it is? He's so yeah. He doesn't that. believe it's real because he's on some retard. It's not worth arguing over. That's that. just the objective <laughs> truth. No, no, that, I don't know what you're saying. Yeah, but you're, you're, you can't. Yeah, there's yeah, literally the there's no place in the world where it's been like discovered how to change somebody's sexuality. Like that. It just doesn't happen. So no, you have no you, you foundation for to, saying you, that. You want to know how to not do that? Is just don't kiss a guy as a man. <laughs> yeah, but then so what? Do you just not have there relationships? Do you just not have relationships anymore? Or no, you could have a relationship, but with the correct sex. Yeah, but if you don't have the any correct. sexual attraction towards them, why would you do that? Yeah, that's the wrong feeling. There's that's just an incorrect. When you say the saying, wrong feeling, what? What the hell does it even mean? God, why is this guy even trying to, to try trying to debate? Uh, you see, in, there in that example, everything that he says is based on absolutely nothing. There's no foundation, no ground, no evidence, nothing at all. It's all just uh, whatever he wants to believe, he presents it without supporting it, without reinforcing it in any way. It's ridiculous. All right, hold up. Here you go. Uh, from the Associated Press, Melbourne, Australia. Five teenagers accused of following a violent extremist ideology. wonder what that is. Hopefully they won't mention it, mention what that violent extremist ideology is. Wait, 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 wait. It's, it must be Jainism. Probably Jainism, probably, right? Yeah, or that or those Quakers. Uh, violent extremist ideology have been charged with a range of offenses in an investigation that began with the stabbing of a bishop in a Sydney church, police said Thursday. Hey, that's today. The five, ages 14 to 17, were among seven boys <clears throat> arrested across southwest Sydney on Wednesday in a major operation by the Joint Counterism Terrorism Counterterrorism Team. The team includes federal and state police as well as the Australian Security Intelligence Organization, the nation's main domestic blah, 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 blah. Two boys ages 16 and 17 years old have been charged with conspiring to engage in or planning a terrorist attack, a police statement said. The older boy was also charged with carrying a knife in public. Two boys ages 14 to 17, ages 14 and 17 were charged with possessing or controlling violent extremist material access online. Police said all five remain in police custody and were scheduled to appear before a children's court. Well, it's great. You got these uh Hardened ISIS jihadis going to a children's court. Two other boys arrested Wednesday, blah, 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 have not been charged so far. Uh, so it looks like it looks like the government becomes uh, starts looking into the background of the guy who went and stabbed Bishop Marmari uh, Emmanuel. And then they start looking, uh, looking around uh, like whatever he's following. And and then they come across other people in the same area. That's what Which, it looks like. Which article are you looking at? Is it NBC News? Yeah, this is. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, they're, but they're they're giving the Associated Press. 
Police, five teens in investigation coming from stabbing off Sydney Bishop. That is interesting from the Associated mm -hmm. Press. It's weird. It's weird how oh. all these. It's weird how all these teenagers are coming to the exact same conclusion about how they're supposed to spend their teen years, and it involves uh, terrorism. Fortun this fortunately, fortunately, we have no idea what the violent extremist ideology was. We will never know. We will probably it's gonna, never. Know. It's going to go down history. It's like it's like. It's like the lost city of Atlantis. Uh, act. This is interesting. They actually included his message of forgiveness uh, on the website. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's super cool. Hey, so these guys are obsessed with slaughtering and their violent ideology. We won't name that, but here's a Christian by contrast. <laughs> well, the, the thing is, they didn't even give, uh, as far as I see, they didn't even give context here, like uh, above or below the, the video. It's just in the middle of the article, the video appears, which says a Syrian bishop stabbed during a service in a Sydney church forgives his attacker. Nice. And I'm fine with that. Wow. They can insert that clip anywhere. That's very, very, very nice. Bishop Marmari Manuel, the Assyrian bishop who was stabbed during a service at his Sydney church, has posted an audio message on social media in which he forgave the, his attacker. Wow. <laughs> this is this is interesting. They actually included this. Oh, I see. Okay, they include that as part of... So that's one of the uh one of the people from the riot afterwards. Take a seat. Ooh. What kind oh. of little thing is that? Claustrophobic. What is this? Yeah, thing? what is that thing? That seems like torture. It's like itself. sticking you, hey, here's our refrigerator we're going to shove you in. We just uh Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, I want to see that whole thing. What is that? That's it? That vehicle, that part? You got a little That's thing. what they put you in? Climb in our glove compartment. What happened? Take a that's scary. I, I I feel anxious just looking at it. It's like <laughs> look at here. It looks like a refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine sitting in there for a while. Oh my wow. We are being arrested. We didn't have a proper police vehicle, but we got this uh we got this uh this portable freezer, so climb in there. Interesting. Anyway, so yeah, that this is thank you, Infinite Noodle, for letting us know. Um I wasn't aware. Good stuff. Good stuff. But the problem is it's Australia. So um, with Australia, um, which is a place where they don't uh, do anything of significance to people who do stuff in the name of Islam. I don't know. I, I just, I hope, I hope, I hope something actually happens. I hope they actually uh, punish these people or, actually give something you know legal that is of significance that will show that australia is now um i don't know cracking down on islamist terrorism or an islamist or all that but it's, it's australia so i don't have much hope to be honest yeah they're they're big on the they're really big on the de-radicalization programs down there which uh you remember that uh you remember that convert who went to prison and then left islam Yes, down yes. There? Yeah, I forget what his name is. He had some Italian last name. He went by Musa Sarantonio. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. said he said their programs are a joke. You basically go in there to show the court that you've changed. And he's saying no one, no one who had, who understands what what uh what jihad is about is going to fall for what they say in there because we know we know exactly. I don't know what goes on in the course, but we have an idea because we've seen it for many years you'd go in there and they go oh no islam's not about jihad it says right here if anyone kills a man it's as if he's killed all mankind and right over here it says there's no compulsion in religion so you see 14 centuries of jihadis and muhammad and his companions all got islam wrong it's all about peace and they go oh, well, isn't that wonderful yeah and so anyway and and if they're they're big on the de-radicalization programs for actual like te grown terrorists They'll be even more so like that with uh, teenagers, right? So th they'll be they'll be taking those teenagers under the wing of uh, all these peaceful Quran verses.
The guy looks kind of based to look at this. Almost makes me want to become a, an Islamic terrorist myself. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. According to who? According to the world. The same reason we tell, uh, tell that they should stop being attracted to kids. It's like you should have a morality. About Hold on. That. Why do you think Ophelia is wrong? Oh, 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 this is where it's... Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Are you kidding me? Is it, is it Sneakle who actually brought it up? Wait, so... Okay, so, uh, again, uh, it, putting together the reasoning, um, someone points... At, so Sneeko points out that the reason it doesn't... It's like he's saying, hey, you can't just say, here's what I'm attracted to, if that's gay or something. You can't just say, I'm attracted to this, and that's your defense, because if so, then someone could say, well, I'm attracted to children. And so Sneaker's pointing out, well, you wouldn't you wouldn't just let someone slide and say, hey, you know, I, I get to I get to be attracted to children, and that's fine. And, and so, but he brought so he's the, he's trying to respond to the criticism. Of calling people gay, and Sneakle. he walks he walks right into the biggest slap in the face to Islam on the planet. Like, open Sneakle. the door. Like, uh, and here's the thing: I guarantee you, as soon as Sneeko showed up, Destiny is going. Oh, let's talk. Oh, we got to get to the topic of uh, pedophilia in Islam. That's where I want to. That's where I want to go. The question is how to get there. And then Sneeko, hey, what about what about pedophiles? Huh? What about that? That's wrong. That's how, evil, how stupid can you be? How seriously? How stupid That's can you be? Out. He even, I mean, there, there, there are clips of him out there, uh, including one that uh, we will probably have a look into into that one as well, he, including one where he talks to Mohammed Tijab and says, oh, this is something that the Islamophobes bring up all the time, oh, child marriage and all that. So how, how do I respond to that? And he just doesn't get it. He's, he's bothered by it so much. And what he does is actually, he brings it up. He brings it up here. He doesn't even, it's not even something that destiny goes for. Uh, you could say, okay, Destiny really, really j jumped on that uh, low-hanging fruit, which, oh, to be honest, I would do too in, in that situation. <laughs> but uh, it's it, Sneeko himself brought it up, right? Let, let's let's hear it again. According to the world, the same reason you tell uh, the like what? According to who? That's the wrong feeling. There's that's just an incorrect. When you say the saying, wrong feeling, what? According incorrect. to who? According to the world, the same reason you tell. Uh, that they should stop being attracted to kids. It's like you should have a morality. About Hold on. That. Why do you think Celia is wrong? Wow, you've got to be joking. <laughs> what a dope. He actually brought it up. What an idiot. Sneeko, I wonder, you are I wonder idiot. if the light switch just went out for Sneeko. Oops, I just, I done messed up, eh, eh Ron? He doesn't even, th I, I think he doesn't even uh, think for a second about what he's what he's saying and what he's doing. He just, he just randomly, uh, you know, blurts out, Thoughts that are not very bright, not very advanced, and uh, and then the result is this. Yeah. So the you can understand. It's like it's like he thinks like one. He's thinking one move in front of him. Like oh, like in other words, he's thinking. Oh, this is what my opponent just said, and he is only capable, like in chess terms, of thinking of that next move. And he's not. Yeah, I don't know. So he's actually bringing up a relevant point of the discussion. If you say, hey, you can't criticize me because I was born this way. Okay, what if someone is born and they say they're attracted to kids? What is what if someone's born and he says, uh, I'm I'm just I'm violent, I like beating people up? What what if someone's born some way? Can you say it's wrong? Can you say that they should not act on the way they are they are born? And that would be an actual interesting area of discussion. What distinctions are you making that would make this fine and this not fine? Like what what what's the basis there? But he walks right into it. He goes right for pedophilia. Yeah, that's where he goes. Yep. Astro Apple said, "What happened to your YouTube live about Salman Rushdie? Uh, it was taken down temporarily. Uh, we'll probably be back soon." Uh, Aisha's goat said, "Mary Cryer miss from Mossab Hassan Yusuf." <laughs> uh, Mossab Hassan Yusuf, my the guy is being. We, we should review. We need to review some more stuff. Yeah, he we do. On Douglas Murray, and today uh, Jordan Peterson published an episode with him as well. So we have to. How awesome that. is that? Yeah. How that's, awesome! That's how awesome is that? And I just, I just mean that, uh, guys. If you, if you haven't noticed, the uh, the Dawa guys, they like to control what is and is not allowed to be said on social media and on big platforms and stuff, and they throw tantrums and lots of people go along with them because they don't like being harassed by a bunch of whiners. 
And so it's, that's why it's awesome if you got like Douglas Murray and uh, Jordan Peterson, and they're ha- they're giving they're they're using their huge platforms to let Masab speak because that guy is a uh, powerful, powerful. That's what voice. they do. That's, that's what, what they, they do. do. I just go and made a correction and said Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas to you too. Uh, fantastic time for that. Um, by the way, I just switched to the actual stream to the uncensored version. Sorry. Uh, for all the language, but it just feels extremely exhausting to listen to a video where it's just cutting out and I have no idea what they're saying. What, do you just not have relationships? Do you just not have relationships anymore? Or No, you could have a relationship, but with the correct sex. Yeah, but if you don't have any sexual attraction towards them, why would you do that? That, That's the wrong feeling. There's... That's just an incorrect. When you say the wrong feeling, that's the wrong feeling. It's the wrong feeling. (laughs) What? What's the the wrong feeling? (laughs) Like what? According to who? According to the world, the same reason we tell a pedophile that they should stop being attracted to kids. It's like you should have a morale. Wait a minute! I thought this was uncensored. Why? You should tell a pedophile to stop being attracted to kids. Tell a pedophile to stop being because of morality. (laughs) David. (laughs) <laughs> this is the guy who's like the new defender of 50 some year old men being attracted to uh, six, seven, eight, nine year old girls. And the guys he now rolls with are people who you could bang a, a, an 11 month old baby as long as you get parental consent. And he's he's his his response to people are gay is, well, there are people who are attracted to kids, too. And that's wicked and evil and should be destroyed. Right. Uh, David, you are uh, you read uh, the relevant parts of the DSM five as well, right? You, you took you yep. took psychology classes, and you yep. know as well that uh, in psychology, um, it is actually pedophilic disorder is yep. actually included in the DSM five as something that is uh, that is a mental disorder. Yeah, that uh, and, is dealt and, with. And Muhammad meets the requirements perfectly. <laughs> like you go down the list of the requirements to be diagnosed with this disorder. Muhammad meets those. He meets, he fulfills all of them. The only thing is uh, there's a, there's a qualifier for whether some, some pedophiles are, have an incestuous uh, tendency as well. So there's a, there's a qualifier there that uh, is it attracted to children in your own family. And there's a distinction uh, exclusive and not exclusive. Some people are only attracted to children while others are attracted to children among others as well. So Muhammad would be diagnosed, if you're around today, with non-exclusive type pedophilic disorder. Because mm-hmm. he was attracted true. to basically anything with a hole. That's true. And that is why, David, just earlier, when Sneeko suggested you could just tell a, tell somebody who is attracted to children, well, don't be attracted to children. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's not how it works. That's not how it, you, you don't just go to somebody who is actually um, molesting kids. Uh, you, you, don't, you don't go to them and say, oh, hey, how about you just stop doing that? You know, it's not right. And they're like, well, OK, yeah, I guess that's not hey, how it works. YouTubers of the world, YouTubers of the world. Someone should do it. Otherwise, I'm going to have to do it. But someone needs to take this video clip of uh, this exchange right here and point out the obvious. Right? You yeah. take the clip of what Sneeko just said. Oh, someone's a trash children. You should tell them no because of morality. Okay. What would Sneeko say to his prophet then? Yes. That's what you yes. titled. What would Sneeko say to Muhammad about yes. Aisha? Yes. Yeah. So the, said, one, the same reason we tell uh that they should stop being attracted to kids. It's like you should have a morality. About Hold on. That. Why do you think pedophilia is wrong? <laughs> what? It's, Guys, it's so look funny. what he did. He was waiting, waiting, waiting. Whoa! What it's did so you funny. just do? Destiny, Destiny immediately, instead of arguing against the ridiculous point that Sneaker just made, immediately jumps on that big blunder that Sneaker made and says, wait a minute, why do you think it is wrong? And this is where that disaster starts. He's like one of those uh, pythons or anacondas and so on that it, it will wrap around an animal. And it's not it's not <laughs> strong. It's not. These things aren't strong enough to just crush the animal. They w- they wait for you to exhale and then they tighten up a little. They're good at they're good at uh, at holding a position. So yeah. you exhale. It winds around you a little more. You exhale a little yeah. more. It winds you around you more. And eventually you suffocate. It's like that's like what we're watching right here. He's just. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see how it goes. It's going to be very difficult. You should have a morality. Hold on. Why do you think pedophilia is wrong? Got him. What? 
because you cannot. <laughs> no, no. Answer, answer, answer. It's a good question. Yeah, answer. I need to make sure you have any. You, yeah, Tommy. No, no, wait, no, wait. Make an answer. Yeah, don't, don't, don't bail him out. Make him answer. Why is pedophilia wrong, Sneeko? Yeah. Because it's out. not how a relationship. Because God says it's wrong. That's no. really that's the reason. Why, hold on. Wait. Oh, so see, no, wait. This is wrong. so easy. So let's take it. So if God no. tells you that you can f kids like he did with uh, Muhammad or whatever, you think that's okay then? <laughs> <laughs> he walked right into it. <laughs> like he did with Muhammad walked or whatever. Right into it. <laughs> Destiny. I love this guy. Easy. So then, Sneeko, so if God tells you that you can f kids like he did with uh, Muhammad or whatever, you think that's okay then? That you would change no, your mind on that tomorrow? That's not what happened. No, no, no. I'm asking you. If God tells you, Sneeko, I think that f kids is okay, then you would change your mind on Okay. Uh, David? Yeah. Destiny just said, so if God tells you to F kids like he did to Muhammad or whatever, and Sneeko said, that's not what happened. That's ex that's literally exactly what happened, right? <laughs> Muhammad said, Muhammad goes to Aisha because the marriage contracts when she's six. So this could have in theory happened when she's five, but let's say, let's say six. Um, he goes to her and says that, that God showed her, showed him, showed her to him in a dream twice and this is how he knows that uh, god wants him to bang this prepubescent little girl yes 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 literally exactly what happens Nico. <laughs> so here narrated by aisha herself allah's messenger said to me you have been shown to me twice in my dreams in my dreams um, a man was carrying you on a silken cloth and said to me, this is your wife. I uncovered it and behold, it was you. I said to myself, if this dream is from Allah, from Allah, he will, he will and cause ever it to come since true. then, ever since then, I had a vision of myself at the ocean, little nine year old rubbing me with some lotion. <laughs> <laughs> so Sneeko. You said that's not what happened. The destiny actually. I don't. I don't know if you, I. I I'm actually don't know if destiny knows what, uh, what happened according to the hadith. I, I don't know if he actually is aware of it, but uh, he basically implied with his uh, hypothetical there that it was Allah telling uh, Muhammad to uh, to f a little kid, and Sneeko said that's not what happened. So let's hear that part again. In the light of what we just read and what we just heard from the great scholar uh, David Dawood, let's hear this moment once again. And it happened. No, like he did with uh, Muhammad or whatever. Not have a relationship because God says it's wrong. No. That's really that's the reason why. Hold on, wait. Oh, so Sneeko, no, 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 wait. This is wrong. so easy. So then Sneeko. So if God tells you that you can. Kids, like he did with uh, Muhammad or whatever, you think that's okay then? That you would change your no, mind on that tomorrow? That's not what happened. No, no, no. I'm at yeah, guys. They they shifted <laughs> they shifted to a criticism of divine command theory, right? So divine uh -huh. command theory is the is the claim that uh, it doesn't mean everything that you think is uh, it doesn't mean that anything you think is a command from God becomes a moral obligation or something. It's uh it's about what the ultimate status of moral obligations are so if i have an if i have a moral obligation not to hurt other people for fun or something like that then what is the status of that is it just a thought in my head is it just something that society has programmed into me uh, or is it something that ultimately derives from god and so you put it forward as you know your, your sort of the, uh, theory of meta ethics that our moral obligations are actually commands from God. Then the question becomes: It is sort of a superficial uh, level uh, criticism, but it's important as far as what Sneeko just said. Sneeko just said that pedophilia is wrong; having sex with a child is wrong because God says it's wrong. I have no clue what he's thinking of as a Muslim that makes him think that God says it's wrong. But uh, for some reason, Sneeko just said, God says it's wrong, so it's wrong. And then Destiny replies, well, what if God says it's right? Then you'd have to say that it's fine, right? Because he did that with your prophet. And so it's he's just, I mean, one, he, he led right into criticisms of Islam. But two, Sneeko just demolished, he just demolished Sneeko's entire uh, position of, hey, God says it's wrong. What if God says it's right? And, just Sneeko, and, and Sneeko, Sneeko's not going to have a response. He, he can't possibly have a response because his God, the God that he now believes in, says it's fine. He doesn't say it's wrong at all. 
Yep. It just backfired on you. As I would say. Asking you, if God tells you, Sneeko, I think that f kids is okay, then you would change your mind on it tomorrow. There has to be a justification for everything. Oh, hold on. Everything. God has God to justify himself? God has yeah. to justify it? If you're talking about the need for a justification, then that means something's not good because God says it. It's only oh, good. Oh, no. Now he's going to the euthyphro. This is the euthyphro dilemma. He just Ooh. pulled the euthyphro dilemma <laughs> on Sneeko, who has no idea what, what euthyphro <laughs> is or who Socrates is or who Plato this is, is. This is the thing that destiny is doing something that is not okay, honestly. It's like... When you watch somebody beat a child, you know, when you watch somebody beat up a little child and keep beating and keep beating, this is what he's doing. Yeah, I had that with uh, one of the debates I uh, I had with Nadir Ahmed. That was where his famous, uh, oh, uh, uh, I don't know if, uh, oh, can we change the topic of the debate? And it was, again, it was a joke, but it was in those, we had two debates and uh, those were in a church and the pastor came up to me afterwards and he said, he goes, yeah, man. Uh, also, I was up there watching you and it was like, uh, uh, you know, you're destroying him and you're destroying him and I'm cheering. But then it became like like watching someone club a baby seal and like sympathy you... started. My sympathy started turning towards him because you're destroying him. So bad. but that's like right here. You can actually <laughs> feel bad for uh, for Sneeko because it looks like destiny. Just uh, yeah, like you're saying, just beating a kid or clubbing a baby seal or something like that. It is literally, literally all of that. It is both beating a kid and clubbing a baby, all babies. Yeah. Yeah. Where the justification is. So God saying things doesn't mean anything then. So you're just wrong on that. So then what's the justification then for why pedophilia is bad? Because it's not, a kids cannot consent. There you go. Oh, oh, my there. goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this chat here. It says uh Sneeko has a humiliation fetish. Dude, uh, <laughs> he just said he just said exactly what we would want to say, right? Yes. Yes. Oh my goodness. A child cannot consent. That is the entire problem. That's and that would be, the by the way, that problem. would be that would be part of the response to what Sneeko was saying earlier. And I said, like if uh if uh, if Destiny says, why is it, you know, why is it wrong? How can you criticize someone for being gay? And Sneeko says, well, um, you can criticize people for um, for for the way they are. You can say, hey, don't do that. You could tell a, you could tell a pedophile, don't be a, don't be attracted to kids. You could do that. You could tell them that. And so I pointed out that, yes, you can bring that up. And therefore, you have to draw distinctions. Well, if you're born violent or attracted to kids, why should you not act on those inclinations? But this person over here who's gay, he can. What's the distinction here? And you'd think if you wanted to defend it, that it would involve something about consent and not harming other people. And, uh, and then if you're talking about consent, it becomes, is anyone allowed to consent? And there seem to be situations where you'd say, no, a five-year-old is not capable of consenting to certain things. Um, and, and But Sneeko's the one who brings it up. A child is not a child is not capable of consent. It has to be a consenting adult, according to Sneeko. So a nine-year-old girl is not con not consenting, and therefore, a pedophile who's attracted to her, he should be told stop doing that. He just he's here's what's weird. He goes around defending child marriage now because he's been told by the Dawa guys, but all of his thinking right there is exactly what exactly what we'd we'd want to say about Muhammad. Yes, yes. That weird. So just backfired on you. That's weird, That's though. The problem with it at all. We think that uh, it's just because we have a different idea of what it means to be a child, which can be tracked historically. But now, if the situation has changed, we say that the general principle in Islam is, you, you know, you can do what you kind of want, so long as, I'm not going to say you can do what you want so long as you're harming. You can do, you can marry whomever you want to marry, so long as it doesn't cause them harm, physical and psychological. So, for example, if I marry a 100-year-old woman or a sneaker, if you marry 
with your tank top, a hundred year old woman. This is funny because Mohammed Hijab now in this in this discussion, uh, where he uh, where he gives his his great Islamic opinion to uh, the little Sneeko, and this is long before this conversation with Destiny, by the way. He is uh, coming at it from a from a different perspective. He's not even bringing up consent. What he brings up is actually what matters in Islam, by the way, which is uh, that according to Islamic law in Islamic tradition, for over one thousand years close to 1400 years possibly uh it has been always the principle that you can marry a girl at any age you could arrange a marriage as soon as she's born however you can only get together and consummate the marriage if you are uh if if the girl will not be physically harmed permanently as a result of sexual interaction um so it should be uh it it should be made it, it should be ensured that the girl will not be harmed she will not be permanently damaged and i know uh, david likes to uh, explain the details of that even further uh, i just don't want to do that at the moment yeah guys uh <clears throat> and muhammad hijab knows this right muhammad hijab knows this one you if you re this harm principle that he's talking about is just sort of general thing don't harm people which you can't apply in all situations because they believe in violently subjugating the entire world and taking female captives and stuff so they're pretty they're pretty loose on on what what you know what they're talking about as far as harming people and so on but hijab understands that uh, some of his uh, some of his scholars have applied this to marrying children they say ah but you know uh, make sure it doesn't cause harm what and hijab knows hijab knows this he knows when he's talking to sneeko and he says oh yeah, yeah, yeah but you, you can't be harming the he knows everyone's thinking oh okay well you can't be banging the kid until the kid is totally ready that right nope that's, that's what everyone's thinking that's not what the muslim scholars mean by harm they mean basically two things one if she's so tiny that you're going to crush her during sex don't do it because you know you, you want to you you, you've paid you've paid a bride price and stuff and now you're going to be with this girl for a, a while you don't want to crush her so that's one thing make sure so they actually talk about making sure she's a little chubby and stuff like that and there's even hadiths where aisha aisha uh, said that her mom had to fatten her up said she had to fatten her up to send her to muhammad so they want a little meat uh, on your bones for for cushion for cushioning so you don't get crushed by this uh, guy if you're a little girl and the other is they were concerned about a girl being so small that you rupture her vagina and then make the two turn the two holes into one hole in which case you've damaged your uh your your girl for the rest of her life that that's the sort of thing that can be repaired today through surgery and so on but for most of the history of islam it's a concern you get this uh you get this little girl and then you rip her open and now i just ruined my girl and now i'm all uh i'm all uh, uh i'm all out of luck because now the two holes have become one and so on this girl's messed up for life that's what they're worried about that's what they meant by don't harm and so that that that's islam yeah that is that is and hijab, the, uh, and hijab knows that hijab knows that and he knows people are misinterpreting him and that's an acceptable form of deception for him and uh so this is what he's actually presenting here uh but uh, not presenting accurately he's misrepresenting it uh deliberately uh however he is actually addressing it despite his um his cowardice in delivering it from the actual islamic perspective without going into the details that david just uh roughly presented Sneeko doesn't have any idea. He goes with the uh, consent part because this is what he is told by uh, non-Muslim people. And we will see now how that works out for him because it's going to be bad. It's already been bad. Cannot consent. There you go. Good, good job. Yep, you got there. Good job. So and homosexuality. Also, no, don't, don't good job me. It goes down to what, what we see from God. If God no, created it, does. Don't 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 you don't see God. Because, so it doesn't matter. There's okay. No there's no purpose. There's no purpose for a man to listen. That's Cinco. If you need a book to tell you not to. Kids, I don't know what to tell you, okay? But most people can figure out why it's wrong on their own. And you got to the I answer in the maybe, end, which is good. Maybe you need which that is book. good, which is good, which is the good. Fact that you okay. that question. Maybe He's you need praising help. him like a little kid. Better. What? He's praising him like a little kid who just figured something out. <laughs> like, well, you did a good job. You know, I put good two job, plus two. Job. I put two plus two up there and I'm up on the chalkboard and you went, uh, 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 fours. Good job. Good job, boy. <laughs> 
compared you compared homosexuality to no, like no, no, why, no, wait, no, wait, wait, no, wait, no, so wait, no, no, wait, no, answer this question. No, no, hold on. Why is it then that homosexuality, which can be practiced between two consenting adults, why should that be a bad thing? It's not a bad thing. It's just not right. There's no purpose that it's serving. What the, are you doing that? The for? purpose it's serving is two people that love each other might want to be in a relationship and build a relationship and build a house. Does Sneeko ever actually think through what he says there? I mean, yeah, even I mean, even what he said right there. This is Sneeko. It's who's not been, bad. Who's it been, just it just doesn't have a purpose. Then, then then why would you be against? Why would you have a problem with it? Why would you? Know, you're, why would it? Yeah, be that's the, that's the idea that sex is only for procreation and not for anything else. And therefore, Sneeko, what have you been doing with these models all along? <laughs> You're not trying to have babies with them. What what what's it for, Sneeko? What are you doing that for? Because you like it, man. Household and do that together. That might be something they want to do. It doesn't serve a greater purpose. Every single thing in your life has to serve a greater purpose. Exactly. So, <laughs> exactly. exactly. wrecking your religion right here. It was a question. This is funny. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Destiny in disbelief. Yeah, he asked you a question. Well, he said, yeah, he did, I guess everything in your I life. Said, has I, to said, I said everything has to be a greater purpose. Why would you do anything meet for no reason? Sneeko, Sneeko, you bring the book a lot and the whatever you read a lot, you, you reference that a lot into what's good and wrong, but I don't think that the fucking book told you to fucking set the red rock and fucking gamble. I think that's like usually called the haram. Order. I don't think people think you should do that in, in that book, does it? So what'd yeah. you do it then? Gambling is a sin. So what'd you do it then? Because I'm not no Muslim is perfect. Like that's uh a Okay, weird... so you so you pick and choose and then you, you choose what wait, 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 wait. Sneeko is actively gambling right now. And upon being asked why he does that, he says, Oh, no Muslim is perfect. Yeah. Okay. What hey, pedophile, why'd you bang that kid? Well, not perfect. <laughs> okay. Well, okay, well, you're fine then. Wow how wrong you're going to be and then you dictate what people should be doing it based on that same book then no and then we should all, we should we should strive to be perfect right so that was an example of me sinning and i don't publicize those sins because i know that we have an audience and it's important that we do the right thing the so difference you between only the publicize okay let me see uh hey, you see that it's important there. i don't publicize my sins because i have an audience meaning <laughs> he's already absorbed from the dawah community hey uh it's fine if you live a double life just try to keep it quiet yeah. And so, guys, guys, the 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 goal would not be for Sneeko to drop all the things he does over time. The goal from the Dawa perspective would be to get him, make him better at concealing what he does behind the scenes. <clears throat> That's funny. That's funny. Uh, I'm just wondering if uh, the clipped clip gets back to the discussion. Or I don't know when it, when it gets back to the discussion. Let me see. Continue talking, Dean. No, it's already enough, man. That's already uh No, it's not enough. It's not. A, it gets worse. It gets worse. I there's saw more. He gets, there's it, more. It gets, it gets much worse. Oh <laughs> no, I was thinking he already <clears throat> he already cornered him completely. No, 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 no. But you don't have all those between... values yourself. That's kind of. You, you make a lot of money, you make millions of dollars selling sin, and I don't. And we should take the responsibility to not do these things. I, do I sin every day? Of course. I listen see, to music. because I don't, I don't see life as a sin or not. I just make a, a, my life of my lifestyle, not off the sin. By the way, pause it, pause lifestyle. it. I just do my thing. Yes. Think about what Sneeko just said right there. He said, I sin every day, I listen to music. And it's like, okay, he's already, he's already uh, figured out that music is haram. But I mean, that notice that's a perfect point. You listen to music. Why do you listen to music, Sneeko? What greater purpose does it serve in the grand scheme of things? It doesn't. You just like it. And so, like, your personal enjoyment and happiness and contentment would be uh, the reason. Mm -hmm. it, it's a weird dude. Yes. So it just backfired. Is That's this weird... bad? And then apply that in real time. That's an update. That is an update. It's how that works. We understand why something is bad through whatever uh, uh, in psychology, cognition, logic, whatever. And then why are you why stuttering? This is a Canadian yeah. dude. Otherwise, you stop being better. Yeah, pretty sure. Like, how, why is it? Sorry, I'm stuttering. Better. I didn't have my maple syrup today. I know I have no Person energy. I'm going so foreign to you. 
Do you not want to be better? Here's an easy question. Listen, okay, so we, should we update or not? What do you think the age of consent should be, Sneko? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, here. This is it. This is it. Oh, this that's it. perfect. That's, per this that's is perfect. This is it. That's what I heard. That's what I had heard <laughs> about this discussion was it's about the age of consent. I, I just thought he randomly tossed it out there. Not that mm. it led perfectly up to this with Sneko then saying that the reason the reason that pedophilia is wrong is because a child is incapable of consenting to a sexual relationship mm -hmm. with an adult which brings up well what's the age of consent then sneako at what age is it does a child become uh become a a relevant authority on his decisions for his or her decisions on of a sexual nature it was the perfect question. At what age is a child capable of consent then, Sneeko? Because he's he can't. Sneeko knows the answer. Of course, he knows the answer. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what he says. This is not an important conversation. No, it's a super important. You don't think <laughs> <laughs> this is not it was a very word. important conversation, Sneeko. So his entire his entire reasoning for why pedophilia is wrong was that uh, a child cannot consent. But then when Destiny asks, "Okay, what is the age of consent?" He's like, "This is not an important conversation. <laughs> it is very important. It is the foundation. Yes, it, is. it is the foundation of the very discussion that you talked about just a few minutes ago." Yeah, wow. and guys, this is. I mean, seriously, this is extremely <laughs> relevant. They're they're sort of they're sort of uh, they're talking about ethics. And a little bit of meta ethics. What is it that grounds uh, various moral claims? What what is it? And then Sneeko, in order to in order to justify criticisms of homosexuality, has to say, well, there are things where we would say, don't do that. Even if you're attracted to something, don't do it. And then walked right into a, a, a slap to the face. Well, then why would that be acceptable in your religion? Your your God says it's okay. Why would it be wrong? Sneeko has to reply. He has to draw the distinction. Kids are incapable of consent. And then, well, at what age does, is a child capable of consent? He knows he's screwed because what's he going to say? He can't say 10 he can't even say 10 he can't say 10 is a, is the age of consent because that would condemn muhammad 10. and uh, let alone the rest of the the rest of the dawa guys i mean he couldn't say six to daniel hakikachu couldn't say six because daniel hakikachu is fine with banging three or four year olds and so and then it's well this isn't important no it's very important we're trying to figure out if you have a coherent view here if you have a coherent view if your view actually makes sense and you can you can make sense of your moral claims you should be able to say when a why at some age a person is capable of consenting and, and another person isn't. But he can't. He can't say it. He can't say at this age or when this sort of thing happens, because anything he says at this point is going to condemn Muhammad. He can't do it. And he's just screwed. And then so he has to dodge it. Wow. 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 But do you see do you see the do you see the, the secret message here in David's speech here? You see, here's a conspiracy for you. David just spoke for a while and he repeatedly said certain things that some people who pay close attention to details must have caught very quickly. He said several times, you can't say 10, you can't say 10, you can't say 10 and sound like Satan. And then he continued and three times, three times he said, you can't say six, you can't say six. And then he, he again said, you can't say six. So he said Satan several times and then he and then he mentioned the number six three times in a row you're on to me you caught the codes you see you like one of those guys when i'm waving my hand and then i'll take a snapshot and go what did you mean by this symbol david in your video <laughs> 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 what message are you trying to send Sneko. <laughs> uh, an easy question listen okay so we should we update or not what do you think the age of consent should be Sneko? Yeah, this is not an important conversation. No, it's a super important. You don't think kids are not as an important conversation? What do you think the age of consent should be? If you want to be consistent, you don't think anything updates, just tell us what you think it should be. I think it should be past stage or at a developed age, Dustin. At a develop what is a developed age? If it's you had to set a law for it, what would you set it? Wrong, what would you set it about? I'd say it's a developed age. No, answer the question, you fucking <laughs> yeah. holy shit. You're such a <laughs> Yeah, guys. <laughs>
That's another wait, 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 wait. I want to hear that again. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, God. <laughs> what is a developed age? If it's you had to set a law age. for it, what would you set it? What would you set it about? Oh, God. I'd say it's a developed age. No, answer the question, you fucking pussy. Holy shit, you're such a cowardly fuck. Stand up for what you believe in. If you actually a Muslim, you're actually Islamic or whatever, then stand up for your fucking beliefs. Yeah. Every be, other, every be other be Muslim scholar online will do this. Do it. Stand tall on it. Don't act. <laughs> Wow, man, that's funny. He's calling him. He's calling him. A, he's calling him a coward. Yeah. Uh, and and by by the way, guys, what it's important what Destiny's doing right here. Clarify yeah. what you mean, because this is another situation. Apparently, Sneeko has already picked up on the idea that you say things that are going to be misinterpreted by other people, even though you could justify it to your Muslim community. So when you say developed, well, I believe that a girl should be developed before she can consent. Uh, guess what? Daniel Hakikachu would say the same thing, would say the same thing. But he's talking about you can be developed, according to Daniel Hakikachu, by the time she's four. She's not. Mm -hmm. They're not talking about being grown into an adult or anything like that. But they know that when a Westerner hears, wait until she's developed, they think, oh, waiting until she's all the way through puberty and she's she's developed into a woman. They know that's what the person is hearing. But but destiny is smart enough to know that that can't be what you mean. You can't you can't possibly mean wait until she's a grown woman. You can't possibly mean that. So what do you mean by developed? Oh, just developed, just developed. Can't say just developed. What do you mean? So um we just want to play this here. Uh, everyone already knows the clip. But uh whoa, it has five hundred thousand views. It's good to see that uh something like when this there is being are signs of physical watched. maturity by so many people who are being exposed to the truth. So as Nico just mentioned, uh, at a developed age when is, the, is the age of consent. Here is what Daniel Kikachu thinks about that. And Daniel Kikachu is familiar with Sneeko, and Sneeko is familiar with Daniel Kikachu. In fact, they recently had a conversation. They're best buddies. Together. Yes, yes. There are signs of physical maturity. It becomes permissible for the husband in Islamic law to have marital relationships or consummate the relation with his bride. And this is the example of the prophet, peace be upon him. Do you know well, what precocious puberty is? Starting puberty unusually early. Like, Is there anything in Islam that prevents you from you know, a man marrying a five-year-old that started precocious Five-year-old. You can arrange a marriage even as an infant, but that doesn't mean that sex is allowed. Could a man have a marriage to a five-year-old consummated if she started precocious puberty? If she starts showing signs of physical maturity, then yes, that's permissible, as I said. So there you have it. There you heard it right there. The question is very, very clearly and explicitly, can a man consummate a marriage, meaning have sexual relations, with a girl that is five years old and shows early signs of puberty? Daniel Kikichu says yes. Because by his standards, that means... She shows signs of maturity. Showing signs of maturity means your body is uh, now uh, developed, which is just absolutely ridiculous. So uh, that makes it okay to have sex with that little five-year-old girl. Yeah, and I'd have to point out as well, uh, again, uh, the Quran does not say you have to wait for puberty. The Hadith yep. does not say you have to wait for puberty. From an Islamic perspective, when you're saying you're waiting for signs of maturity— uh, that's another situation. We hear signs of maturity. Oh, that you mean you've gone through puberty or something like that. From an Islamic perspective, signs of maturity means you're you're chubby. The girl is chubby enough to where you're not going to crush her during sex, and you can actually fit inside her without rupturing her. She, if okay. if so, then she's then she is old enough. Yeah. Hey, this is nice. Uh, I was just looking at my short videos and. Uh, this clip here from my debate with Daniel Kikichu, where I just posted uh, how he kept insulting me. And then I said, I said, I'm okay with you insulting me, but if you do that, then I will also refer to Muhammad as a uh, child molester. Ooh, and, then, and then he stopped. That has 930,000 views. Let's get it to a million. <laughs> Let's get it to a million people. Everyone go share that. Everyone go share that on social media. That's amazing. <laughs> Man, he walked right into that as well. Act like a little pussy in here trying to grill XQC on, on, on modern meta ethics or whatever. If you want to answer basic questions about your worldview, what should the age of consent be? Do you see how you see how you want to answer the question? You see how he's gonna yap and not answer. Oh, this this is what this is what I love about destiny. You see that moment? This is what I love about destiny. Right there, right that. 
So you see immediately how Sneeko is trying to sneak out of it. And because he's Sneeko and uh, tries to distract from it by talking about Destiny's intentions here. Destiny realizes immediately what he's doing and stops him right there and calls him out. This is this is sharp. This is why I love this guy. On, on modern meta ethics or whatever, if you want to answer basic questions about your worldview, what should the age of consent be? Is it, do you see how... You see how you want to answer the question? You see how he's going to yacht and not answer the question? I'm going to ask the I same just, thing when you're I done. Go ahead. Answered, I just answered the question. I just told <laughs> you. What was the age? I just told you at a developed age. Sneeko thinks I, you should be able to well, nine-year-olds. That. That's what Sneeko thinks, and he won't answer that question honestly. Or he's going to have to give a different answer, in which case he's updated his morality. He's updated his views, and that's really uncomfortable for him. You don't have an answer to any of this shit, bro. Go back to f***ing uh, that corner in London where you're getting roasted by year one debater. <laughs> 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 oh man Ooh. hard again <laughs> oh man. man oh wow that wow <laughs> he's brutal man i feel bad for sneaker destiny's brutal man. wow <laughs> oh boy <laughs> wait back. Go back to speaker's corner where you're getting roasted by. <laughs> I think he said getting roasted by Christians. But I think oh. he said. I think he said like tier one Christian. <laughs> because there was there was a video where uh, a Christian comes to him and a sneaker uh, has no idea what the guy is talking about because he starts talking about Christology. Like a sneaker is like, oh, Chris, Christianity doesn't make sense. You know, Jesus can't, like God can't be a human, and this and that. And the guy then uh, starts going into. <laughs> into Christology, hypostatic union, and, and all that. And Sneeko's like, oh, well, okay. Uh, so uh, wh what does that mean to you? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen that. The, the one the one we watched live was uh, Sneeko. Yeah, there's only one Karat. Oh, okay, well, what do you do with a different Karat? Oh, okay, I didn't know about that. <laughs> and then the other guy trying to jump in and shield him. And this is after everyone had warned him, do not go there, Sneeko. It's not going to go yeah. well for you there. He goes there anyway. Gets humiliated, and then and then thinks, "Hey, I can redeem myself by ambushing Destiny." Man, what? Is That's what Sneeko thinks, and he won't answer that question honestly. Or he's going to have to give a different answer, in which case he's updated his morality, he's updated his views, and that's really uncomfortable for him. You don't have an answer to any of this shit, bro. Go back to f***ing, uh, that corner in London where you're getting roasted by year one debaters on Christianity. This is retarded. <laughs> year, <laughs> no, he's year one, so you're year one debaters. <laughs> <laughs> This is Destiny saying go back to getting roasted by year one Christian <laughs> This is brutal. This is brutal. Oh, boy. You can wow. leave the call. I wanted to go talk about this. I don't want to leave the call. I like issue. hanging out here. I've talked to a lot of pedophiles in the past, so. <laughs> <laughs> Did he say he's talked to a lot of pedophiles in the past? <laughs> Yes. Okay, Sneeko, I, I'm actually curious now. What what do you think the age of development is? I just told you. It, it, it depends on where you are. It depends okay, on the okay, world. Then, then, then at what stage do you think something is developed? It depends on where you are. Yeah. It, it Guys, this is, this is an important question for someone who's trying to <laughs> evade the issue. What do you mean by developed? Do you mean has grown into an adult woman? If so, you just condemned your prophet and 14 centuries of uh, of people in your religion. Um, so you can't possibly mean that. What do you mean? Do you just mean she's developed to the point where you're not going to rupture her if you insert your penis inside of her? What do you mean? These are important questions. Do you mean, can a four or can a four year old be developed in whatever sense you're talking about? Or is that completely, is there something where you're not going to be developed until you're 11 or 12 or 13? If so, you've just condemned your prophet. That's the point. There's no way out. There's no way out for this because to be a Muslim, he has to say there Whatever he means by developed, it can be a, it can be a seven or eight or nine year old. Or if you're talking about consenting, consenting to a relationship, it it has to be where a six year old is capable of consent. So Aisha is cap was capable of consenting to a marriage, even though she's not required to be not required to be in Islam. But uh, Sneeko Sneeko has to be able to say that. That's the point. He can't say anything. If he says anything that that is going to make him sound sane, it will be against Islam. And so. He has to define developed in some way that makes sense in Islam, and that's going to make him sound really, really horrible to everyone else. So he's just choosing not to answer.
So it just backfired on you. It just backfired on you. Uh, What's that word you're using? Do you know who this guy is? Who is this? Revelation yep. twenty two thirty. Who is this? Uh, that's uh ah uh, gosh I forget. He 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 came he came into the chat when we were uh when we were going through the the clip with Chris. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, um, people people said he could actually he could actually uh join us to go through a to go through a, uh, his interaction with Sneeko. They can be taken apart. We're not saying they can be it's taken apart. Semantics. I can't, I, I it's not semantics. It's metaphysically different. Oh boy. Okay, that that's person, individual subsistence, and a rational so nature. Separate or they're together? Distinct, not separate. What's the difference between distinct and separate? <laughs> well, separate <laughs> okay, this is painful. This is painful. We should probably review that too. Oh uh, yeah, that's some... Ananda. Ananda. I don't know how to pronounce it. Ananda apologetics. Yeah, yeah. Uh, th this is what De Destiny is referring to. Uh, he watched that a few yep. weeks ago. Uh, we should have a look at that. <laughs> this is what can. he means uh, by getting roasted. Hey, someone yeah. contact yeah. Ananda Apologetics and ask if he wants to join us live to go through his uh, interaction with Sneeko. We'll watch the clip and he can we can discuss it. Yeah, yeah. Started, so he just backfired on you. Oh, yeah. snap. We got 31, over 3,100 people watching. That's getting pretty regular. Remember, like it was just like a couple months ago, we got we hit three thousand for the first time ever, and now it's becoming pretty pretty normal. Yeah, 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 yeah. What happens when nice. we end up with a million people watching live? It's probably going to happen within a few weeks. So it's a. a you just muted yourself on accident. I don't know what you did. You just muted yourself. Like how did I? How did I even do that? By magic? I don't know. It just suddenly went down, and then you muted you. which is BS, absolutely BS. Yeah, don't get me started. So it just backfired on you. <laughs> That's my message to sneak. Guys, YouTubers of the world, try. I try to help guys, right? Because I unite you know, you, every single day. Every single day, you see. A ton of stuff. You've been doing YouTube for a long time. Every single day you say, oh, that could be a video. That could be a video. Oh, that could be a video. That could be a video. Even though you'll never be able to make all these videos. So you, you could point out to other YouTubers, guys, here's an idea. Here's an idea. Here's an idea. All these would be good videos. Uh, you put together what Sneeko was saying with some of the other stuff of Sneeko's previous interactions and how Destiny just destroyed him. And at the end, you put, uh, it just backfired on you. That's it. That's a video. Chikami said you're trying to get Sneeko on here. Um... Sneeko is, I'll say it here. I, I, I haven't even consulted with you on this. Is Sneeko welcome to join <laughs> us anytime, even if it's an ambush? Even right now in the middle of the discussion, if Sneeko sends us a message, just put me on. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll put him on. We'll put you on, Sneeko. Honestly, I don't know about that because it feels a little bit like... I don't know. It's it's like it's like it's weird. It's like we're taking advantage, yeah, of I the know. guy. Uh, do you do you really want to make a stream about public humiliation? It's 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 kind of weird, you know. I have to think it through. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just saying. If this man enjoys getting uh, just humiliated, who are we to say no? He's a consenting. He's a consenting adult. Yeah, Sneeko is watching. They say. I don't know if that's true. Well, say so you're watching of, of, of development. There's it a lot varies. of It varies. I don't think it varies. It varies on the I think it varies on the age. It varies on the age. It depends on where you are. You need, you need, you need to have set ages for that. There are stages of development. As, as a child, an adolescent, an adult, and then fully developed. Like, is, is it the brain? Is it the body? Is it, is it cognition? What parts of them it is? Can you, can you That's actually it? important. That's no, actually important. Not, he just uh, too much time thinking about that. Wow. So okay, so if, a man, like so if a man f***ed a 12-year-old and he was like, well, this person was like really developed, would that be okay then? You wouldn't call that person a pedophile? No, that's that's wrong. Absolutely. Why is that wrong? What? I just said that you're not supposed to do relationships with people, but look. Well, you can't do relationships. Wow. He, said tw he specifically said 12. He gave he gave Muhammad a three-year buffer zone. Okay, but Sneeko's response to that is you're not supposed to have relationships. Yeah. So he, he's distracting from the point here. Guys, he just condemned Muhammad. Point. That's the title of your video. Sneeko condemns Muhammad for pedophilia. You can, you can, you've got all the pieces in what Sneeko just said to condemn Muhammad. 
Relationships? You can't do relationships with children. I said that. Like, Wait, what is a child though? But what if they say they were developed? Developed is 18 plus, bro. Like, come on now. Ooh, is that, do that. you co sign that, Snigo? Is that what developed means? 18 plus? <laughs> well, people believe that, but throughout a lot of states, a lot of it's like 17, a lot of it's 16. Oh, so, so you think 16, 17, that's the ethical age to start? <laughs> I don't follow, but see, I don't follow the legal morality that you guys are following. So oh, you <laughs> idiot. Then answer the question, you dummy. Then answer the question. It's so fun. Destiny oh. keeps going with whatever Sneeko just said. Whatever Sneeko just said, he goes, Oh, so you're saying. And then Sneeko has to deny it. It's <laughs> my goodness. I love how, how Destiny puts him on the spot there. Oh, okay. Uh, do you agree with that, Sneeko? It's like 17. A lot of it is 16. Oh, so you Sorry, think 16, 17? That's the ethical age to start f***ing or no, marrying people? I don't follow, but see, I don't follow the legal morality that you guys are following. So I'm asking you for the Sharia. I'm asking you for the Sharia morality. What's the religious one? What do you think is the morality there? It says developed. It's not a specific age. So, so if the file or if yeah, a guy wants we, to... Oh, gosh. We, we know what they mean developed? by developed. Guys, so that this is very... There's an... There's a reason to have this discussion, right? So they're saying, what is the age? What is the age? Like, what is the age? Are you saying it's 16? Are you saying it's 17? Are you saying it's 18? What is the age? The correct response from Sneeko's position, in other words, the Dawa guys, is, yeah, but it doesn't make sense to say this is the age at which a girl is developed because girls develop at, you know, at, at, different, uh, at different rates sometimes. So the question would therefore become what that Canadian uh, maple syrup drinking dude said, um, you, what, so what are the criteria? What are the criteria? If you're going to say, you know, girls develop at, at different ages or something like that. What are the criteria? What are you looking for? What are you looking for at, at it, what gr fully grown? What are you, what are you saying? And Sneeko can't answer because whatever the only answer he could give that would be correct from an Islamic perspective is you're not going to crush her or rupture her. That's yes. developed. That's that would be the correct assessment from an Islamic perspective. He can't say that because it would be even hum more humiliating than what he's going through right now. And so he just has to keep his mouth shut. Are you sick in the mind? Are you that mentally enslaved and intellectually subservient and intellectually molested and ideologically molested? <laughs> we got to start doing something with that. That's green screen. That's easy to put him in front of something. <laughs> <laughs> you could have Sneeko right beside him saying something stupid, and then Muhammad Ajab jumps in. Uh, David, what did you and Robert do the jihad watch last tonight? Last night, no. In fact, we uh, it is going to be happening in about half an hour, as far as we know. So, in half an hour, David is supposed to go live with Robert on Robert's channel to do jihad watch. Yeah, Robert was having technical problems with his website last night, and he uses his website for the articles that we're discussing and stuff. So, which yeah, is so why we have to go quickly through everything, uh, uh, so that we are not too late, and I can read all the super chats and everything. Uh, but unfortunately, David always talks too much. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Twelve-year-old uh, feels like they're developed. Then you're saying it should be okay in terms of religion, right? In terms of at least ethics or morality, right? No, in the, in the Quran, it does not specify, it doesn't have an age. Like, you're going to go in circles about this forever? I just, I'm just curious why it's so hard to get you to give an age for when you think is an acceptable time to f*** somebody. I okay. answered the same question four times. You haven't given it, developed isn't an age. It's not a number. Nico, I, I think he's, he's trying to make an understanding of how you apply it in the real world. How do you apply that knowledge or that piece of that, you're, that phrase you're using, develop age, into the real world? How does somebody navigate that? Some of you read the same book that you did had your information, how do they navigate the world? How do they do it? Uh, it's hard to understand you. How does someone navigate the world without a book? What do you mean by develop? Look, a baby Sneeko. is a baby is developed compared to, you know, a, a fetus, right? A, 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 at every stage, you can say this thing is developed to some extent. What are you, what do you mean by developed? Because you can say it about anything. You could say it about any age. You could say that's more developed than before that. What the heck do you mean? This and is the he thing. Can't, he can't say it without making Islam look really bad. This is the issue. Destiny knows exactly what Sneeko is doing. He knows exactly what's going on, which is why he, I think, said before several times now that uh, the, the guy is just not serious in any way. Uh, he, he knows exactly that Sneeko has kind of a rough idea of what is meant by developed. Um, but... Sneeko, Sneeko just doesn't want to answer the question, right? He just doesn't want to answer the question. He doesn't want to try to answer the question. He doesn't really understand the 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 answer that he would be supposed to uh, 
you know, that, that he would be giving. And he doesn't want to present the answer because he doesn't want uh, the backlash. He doesn't want the embarrassment. He doesn't want Islam to sound like something really barbaric and pedophilic, which it is, uh, which is why he's dancing around it and trying to act like he answered the question. That's what he's doing. That's what Sneeko is doing. Destiny is very, very well aware of this, which is why he's tired of this. Which, which is, it's, it's which, is why, which is why it's stupid to go into a discussion with Destiny. And bring and up pedophilia. Even stup- and even stupider to, <laughs> to walk right into a discussion on pedophilia. And, and bring it up yourself. Like not even somebody else bringing yeah, it up. He didn't have to do it. that. He could have used he, a different example, right? He could have said he could have said, Well, if you're saying that if you're attracted to something, you should you should be allowed to do it. What about if I were attracted to a dog or something? He could have said something else. Instead, he went right for children, walked right yeah. into it. Ananda Apologetics is here in the chat. Uh so um Get into D- David. Are you in contact with Ananda? Um, Wh- whatever. So, uh, message, yeah, message me, Ananda. If you want to, if you want to jump on live with us and go through this Sneeko clip, uh, yeah, yeah, your Sneeko interactions. So we, we we can't do that now, but we will look at the other video as well, and uh, we could go through that together. So get in touch. That would be very nice. Would be very nice. Let's finish this here quickly. You're missing the, you're missing the point. Though. How if you or you use that phrase, developed it, right? As a concept, somebody knows this and they intake that. How do they apply that to the real world? How is they supposed to know? How, it, how that's just sort of specifics behind it, right? What is your question? How do you apply the Quran to the real world? Oh boy. Yes, if 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 if, if the book says that phrase, developed, right? It doesn't. It somebody doesn't. when they go into the real world, how do they apply that? Thank you. Thank you. Destiny's chat is saying what I'm thinking here. Thank you. Thank you. How do they use that to know what to do? It's a simple question. Please answer it. It's it's pretty easy to tell if somebody is a developed human or not. If so that you true. trust every human has read the book to know what's development and know how to use that. And you trust that people will do that. All right, Sneeko. So look at, uh, look at Destiny. Look at Destiny. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh my He's goodness. had enough. So every so it's uh, anyone can can tell what is and is not developed. All right, so we just heard it. We just heard it a few minutes, uh, ten minutes ago or so, where Daniel Kikachu said that uh, if a child begins showing signs of puberty at the age of five, that means developed. Four means developed. Three, by the way, according to the clip, still means developed. Even a hypothetical situation where an 11-year-old in an extraordinary... Sorry, 11-month-old in an extraordinary situation shows early signs of puberty, that would be developed by Daniel Kikichu's standards. According to Islamic scholars, little children at the age of, I don't know, three, four, five, six, seven, whatever, as, as, as soon as they could take it and not be permanently broken, they would be developed. However, <clears throat> somebody who is... Uh, who is, who is basing their understanding of developed on a modern understanding on biology, on science, on the actual development, the brain development, the, the bodily, the sexual development of, of, of a human, probably has a completely different view of developed. So there is a huge range of when somebody can tell whether a girl is developed or not. So Sneeko, your argument makes no sense at all. It is just dancing around the point again he's he's terrified of answering the question and we're not expecting anything smart from sneeko sneeko is an idiot complete idiot but sneeko if you don't want to answer these questions if you can't answer these questions why do you jump into the discussion why do you go to speaker's corner why do you jump on streams and try to preach islam why do you try to have these discussions just get out like <laughs> man it's painful Responsibly, yes. Well, this, this is also the value of having a community, of having a community of people around you who are on the same sort oh, of Also, if you do it, so if you say, oh, oh. Okay, so if you're surrounded by a bunch of pedophiles and they all think, oh, yeah, but I think this little two-year-old, I think she's she's ready now, then yeah. that's all right. Yeah, plus I had a dream where God was giving me that little baby. Yeah. If you are, however, surrounded by um, a bunch of reasonable people who say, nope, uh, She's 18 years old, um, and I don't know. She is making her own decisions. Looks like she's ready if she wants to be ready. 
then that's also right. So it, it's just it's just it just depends on your environment. It just depends on it just depends on the people around you. So uh, moral relativism, basically, in a way. That's fantastic, Sneagle. Thank you so much. My bad. I thought it would develop. To, there were there were only uh, thirteen. Let's say you said that the community should now. I say, oh, you should have done that, and that's that's good course correction. Right. If there's people around that are educated. You have shakes, and you have other people within the. So community after the mistake, the shakes. if you have shakes, if you have shakes, if the shake says it's okay, then it's okay. If the shake says. If you have sex with that little three-year-old, her she will not be permanently broken. I guarantee it. And the other shake says, "Okay, I agree with you. Sounds reasonable." Then, then it's then I guess it's fine. And those That's two shakes, logic. those two shakes say, "Don't worry if the little girl shakes." We say she's ready. Yeah, Sneeko. Shut up. Welcome to Dawa. Well, hey, welcome yeah. to Dawa. <laughs> so after you've done wrong, they go, "Hey, yo, did you probably shouldn't have done that, bro?" No, if, like, if oh, they're I'll following, if they're following the faith, then they're gonna, they're gonna have the right intentions, and they're gonna ask people, and it's gonna they're be gonna pretty have the right intentions. We have to wait for right faith to like to come down on Earth. And no, I'm, well, if people have the right intentions and think it's okay to uh, go and to have uh, and have gay orgies, then I guess that should also be fine, right? And what if you're surrounded by a community in like San Francisco? Yeah, in San Francisco, who say, "Hey, gay orgies are fine. Yeah, There's no community harm." Community says it's fine. Not hurting anybody. It's not. It's not. Not not doing anything. Anything wrong here. It's fine. We are an informed, educated community, and we have come to the conclusion together in agreement that it's all right. Well, no, they have to be shakes. Well, <laughs> go drink a milkshake and shut up, Sneeko. Yeah. Saying it's, it's like, the value of having a community that's on the same page about things. The same, and you know that. That's why you establish rules within your, the with your community. The community is also. It's also so funny when he's talking about uh, homosexuality. He brings up the 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 uh, the idea that um, it would be meaningless. It would serve no purpose because there would be no procreation. However, um, he says you can have. You can have sexual relations with a girl as soon as she's developed in different conversations you see how that ranges from the age of 12 to the age of 9 to the age of this and that uh, Sneeko, maybe go to a proper scientific medical authority and ask them about whether it is practical or not to start having children at the age of 9 or as soon as you are developed See how that see how that works out. Yeah, I or, can. Or your friend, I, I, I can say. If you have sex with a five year old girl, and uh, are are you going to have? I don't even want to get into it. Yeah, I pointed out uh, the the dangers of basically every bad thing that can go wrong uh, in pregnancy go up significantly when you're dealing with uh, young girls. All right, I'm done. All the problems, all the problems go up. And so, yeah, yeah. hence hence going to hence going to reliable authorities. I mean, just think his mind is already set. Well, you'll ask your shake. You uh, I would ask Daniel Hikikachu. That's who I'd ask. Well, oh, why, don't ask, why don't you ask a freaking doctor? Well, doctors are kufar. Kufar. <laughs> doctors are not shake. Come in and tell you what to do and when not to do it or if that's if that's how you use if that's the number you use to navigate the world wait a minute wait a minute wait 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 wait, wait. the chat here says forty six thousand people watching this right now oh, oh wow that, that was on oh wow this is why everyone knows about this <laughs> that was on xqc and the other guy and all these people and if you can trust the number here there were lots of people watching. But or if that's if that's how you use, if that's the number you use to navigate the world, you guys keep trying to make it seem like it's it's as concrete. I'm not trying to make it. It is. It has to be concrete. All right, I'm done with this. <clears throat> Base autistic said, "Ibi, you should message Destiny when he's live and show him the Mike Jones clip against Daniel. He has seen it already. In fact, I did message him the day it happened, uh, and he reacted. He started watching it the same day." I think the next day or so. So he did actually watch that. Yeah. By the way, isn't saw. it isn't it awesome that like all these like popular streamers and stuff are catching on to stuff that Islam has kept quiet 
as far yes. as for a long time and now they all know it and now they all bring it up at to all their millions of viewers and stuff interesting yep, yep. fun times so which is bs absolutely bs yeah don't get don't me get started me so you, you just let's see what happens now? Okay, uh, all colors are entombed in black, said today, April 25th, was the Italian day of liberation from fascism and proper dudes were rallying, propel, propel dudes were rallying in Rome, baffling. Well, they just want to bring it back. Um, interesting piece of information, the Palestinian Arab leadership during um, Italian fascism and Nazi Germany, the... Uh, Grand Mufti of Jerusalem, Husseini, he was actually a friend and ally of Mussolini and Hitler. He met with both of them. He spent time among the fascists and among the Nazis and made plans with the fascists and plans with the Nazis. We have it all on record. So nothing changed. <laughs> Stefan de Pelletz said David Mort mocks gospel opponents like Jesus Christ Christian. R. Donkins mocks gospel but likes its fruit. Atheist. Momo, bite the bite the pen is your dead. <laughs> bite the pen is of your dead. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Segal, this Guys, said, keep in mind, he was not making that up. There's, there's yeah. a Ethra mom that said, Go bite your father's, tell him to go bite your father's penis. Yes, yes. <laughs> I will not be able to read all super chants, but I will be going, I will be, I will try to go quickly through uh important ones especially bigger ones Sagal Thistle said I'm a Jewish girl Sophia's story showed me how vile Islam is I am the same age she was during Khaybar I pray God gave her justice in the afterlife this is actually uh, this is also of significance because um you will still hear many Muslims around the world when Israel uh is in question shout Khaybar Khaybar Ya Yehud um and then followed by the army of Muhammad. Uh, so they, they, they still want to be proud of what Muhammad did to the Jews of Khaybar and still remind Jews of that, although Jews generally don't know what this is about. Although, yeah, if you uh, condensed version of the story, uh, Muhammad and his companions go up to uh, attack the Jewish settlement at Khaybar, and what happens? Uh, Muslims win. Muhammad gets poisoned by a jewish woman whose family had been slaughtered um because he couldn't resist good food and so he uh, ends up getting poisoned this eventually kills him but it, it takes a couple of years because it like damages him internally but uh he also couldn't control his urges with uh safia so uh, muhammad and his companions tortured her husband to death because he knew where some money was hidden so they torture her husband to death then he gives her to dihya al kalbi who was Muhammad's boyfriend, according to some theories. And, uh, <laughs> but then it gets brought up to Muhammad's attention that Sophia is the hottest, the hottest girl in the settlement. So he has to have her. And so he takes well, her. Man. And then one of his soldiers, huh? one of his, one of his men stands guard outside the tent the entire night in case she tries to uh, murder him for, for killing her husband. But long story short, as far as uh, justice, yeah, I believe in justice in the afterlife, but she also got justice in this life because Muhammad was poisoned as a result, which is why it's hilarious for Muslims to remind Jews of Kaibar when Muhammad was killed. Their prophet was killed for messing with these Jews. Their prophet died because he messed with the Jews of Kaibar, and one of them poisoned him. And then he spent the next three years wallowing in freakish misery until he died like a dog. Died like a dog. Um, yes, yes. Very nice breakdown here. Um, yes. David, what is your, what are your thoughts on the whole Destiny Sneako thing? If you could condense it to three words. Oh, it's pretty, uh, pretty even match. Nice. No, to my said it's not a gargot if the tree consents. <laughs> <laughs> you need to edit Fareed's tweet and say, how can it be a gargot if the tree consents? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Rick Newton said, as a Canadian, take my Tim Hortons bucks. It's our national currency. My igloo is burning, burning down. I need to get some maple syrup to put out the fire. Rick, next what time, you... Rick, next time you need to put a at the end of every sentence to make it thoroughly Canadian. Because <laughs> right now I'm like, is this a guy pretending to be Canadian? Is Tim Hortons a restaurant? 
or a product or something. Maybe. I think it's like a little place where you get like coffee, but they have, I think I've been to, I think they have them in Michigan. I think I've been there in Michigan. Yeah. People go oh. there for like coffee and a donut or breakfast sandwich or something like that. I don't know. Canadians are terrible people. But everything comes with like a gallon of maple syrup. Yep. Yep. Uh, Nose to my said, Mohammed. <laughs> Yeah, this, uh, this is funny. Uh, no, this is, uh, these are some interesting thoughts here. It's pretty yeah. Diha, Diha, guys, we're not, we're not even joking here. Diha's name is Diha Al Kalbi, which means Diha the dog. And then there are these hadiths where Muhammad would tell his wives when they would see him with Diha, and Muhammad would say, That was the angel Gabriel. So, hey, what are you doing there at home with the, uh, with this guy, Dia. No, no, that was the angel Gabriel visiting me for a while. And uh, if she heard any noises out there, that's just Gabriel giving me some revelations, some revelations in the back room. <laughs> you know what's funny? I think the tradition of it is actually that, um, I, I'm not sure if I'm remembering this correctly, but uh, it, it, prior to Islam in the Arab culture, um, the the word, the, the name Kalbi was actually used as a, as a title of... Uh, honor or endearment because in pre-islamic arab culture uh a dog was not something bad or disgusting it was considered something uh likable and honorable so uh people which were it there should be Kalbi. i mean a, a dog a dog will like die for you a dog yeah, will yeah. actually die to to protect a, a human being. but islam came muhammad came and muhammad turned dogs into a disgusting reprehensible thing that should uh, that, that he commanded to kill and then later said, okay, don't kill him anymore, but the black ones kill the black ones. Yeah, so most people, most people if, they're, if they're thinking of good and bad, they're thinking dogs, pretty good. Uh, child molesters, eh, pretty bad. Whereas Islam reverses it. No, child molesters, super good. Dogs, really bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, la, 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 let's see. Night was a great night for the United States. He died like a dog. He world. died like a coward. When you just said, <laughs> when, you, when you just said he died like a dog, I, I had to think of this. He died like a dog. He died like a coward. He was whimpering, screaming, and crying. And oh, frankly, I think it's something that should be brought out. <laughs> Dude, guys, we're all, all YouTubers of the world. Just United. take, some, just take something. Take, share some information about how Muhammad died and him being poisoned, and then play the clip of Trump saying he died like a dog, he died like a coward. <laughs> just, just play this part after explaining how Muhammad died. Mm -hmm. He died like a dog, he died like a coward. <laughs> he was whimpering, screaming, and crying. And frankly, I think it's something that should be brought out. <laughs> He's talking about Abu Bakr al Baghdadi when he was killed. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, that was such an awesome matter of fact that that happened on the right when we were leaving Israel and I was in the airport and I was there. And as far as people that I that I uh, that I uh, met while I was there, two other guys in the airport, one was a, an army ranger and the other was a Navy SEAL. I was like, hey, guys, you want to go live to talk about this? And they're like, sure. And so that was a that was one of my favorite live streams of all time. He died like we were dog. we were in the Tel Aviv airport after right after Al Baghdadi had been killed and having discussion with a, a Navy SEAL and an army ranger. When was that? Was it 2000? And... I don't know. I don't know you can look up. You can look up the date that Abu Bakr al Baghdadi was killed. That was when we were leaving. I don't want to look it up. Uh, on my knees for Christ, said I wish I could show all my fellow gays that when they defend Muslims, these are the people they're defending. Alhamdulillah. I wish. I wish that is so. Yeah, you the queers for Palestine and so on. That's uh, you're defending. Yeah. Uh, these are the guys you're defending. Alhamdulillah. Jack said, I would like to hear what the goat has to say. Uh, let's check. Goat, what do you think about all this? What do you think about Sneeko? What do you think about Sneeko's uh, ethical claims? <laughs> Sounds like he's a little worried. Uh, no, Sumat said, if jinns can be Muslim and Satan is a jinn, maybe Satan is Muslim. It could be true. It could be true. It could be, yeah, Actually, he, really, Satan's the most faithful Muslim, according to yeah. the Quran. We brought this up before, but I mean, going just by the narrative that you find in the Quran, like Satan was a really was was really was was the faithful, the loyal, uh -huh. the devout guy. He was like 
uh, Allah, Allah creates something and he says, bow down to it. And uh, all the angels, they're like mindlessly doing it. And Satan is like, no, I will not do that. So to me, that's, that, that sounds like, aha, uh -huh. Satan thinks, no, this is a test because I know very well yeah. that I shall not prostrate to anything besides Allah. So he refuses to do it, but then he's punished for it. <laughs> yeah, so we read the story, of, of, Muslims read the story today of Allah telling everyone, bow down to Adam, and then Satan saying no, as Satan being very prideful. No, Satan saying, wait a minute, I'm not supposed to bow down to anything uh, but Allah. <laughs> And this thing is worse, less than me. I'm made from fire. He's made from clay. Why am I going to bow down to something that's less, that's even less than me? And he says, uh, not doing it. Got to be a trick. And he doesn't realize what Allah wants. What Allah wants is whatever his most recent thing he tells you to do, even if it contradicts everything else that he has said ever, just do the most recent thing. They're programming them for, for abrogation. It's the exact yeah. same thing you find in the Muslim sources when uh, Muhammad's going around saying, hey, we're pure Muslims, pure monotheism, pure monotheism, pure monotheism. And then he comes out one day and says, guys, now it's okay to pray to a lot, Alusa Manat, these three pagan goddesses. And what happens? The entire Ooh. Muslim community bows down. Why? Because they hadn't been pro they hadn't been programmed with pure monotheism. They had been programmed mindlessly obey everything Muhammad says. That's the goal in Islam. Mindlessly obey, mindless obedience towards your leaders. That's the goal. I mean, if yeah. I was in Satan's position in that story I, and, and Allah drove me out, I would think, okay, obviously at one point they will, uh, he will say, okay, this is a test and you passed, right? This must mm -hmm. be this must be part of the test, right? Mm -hmm. He probably still thinks that, like if, this, if the Islamic story is true. Yeah, and that's, but in, this, in, the, in the Quran, that's what sets <laughs> Satan off. That's what he's like. He, he, say, matter of fact, Satan says, you deceived me. You deceived me. <laughs> and so I'm going to go deceive people. You deceived yeah. me thinking that, hey, I'm only supposed to worship this thing. And uh, uh, no, I'm, I'm, yep. Satan, Satan's yep. the, Satan in a weird sense is the real hero. I know if, if, if I was in Satan's position in the Islamic story, I would have done exactly what Satan did. Clip that. <laughs> Muslims, clip that. You see, this is why he left Islam. Nostomar said, if everyone are created a Muslim, hence reverts, and all Muslims worst of created beings, so when they are created as Muslims, they were the worst of creatures. So Muslims are the worst of creatures. Everyone is the worst of creatures as soon as they disbelieve or as soon as they refuse to believe. It doesn't make any sense. But Islam doesn't make any sense at all. So that's the point. Noam MKW said, you guys heard of what happened in Burkina Faso? Burkina Faso, over 200 killed in the name of jihad. I haven't heard of it. You, David um, you, almost, right you, almost never, you almost never hear of it in the West. You, never hear, on it. you never hear of it because it's happening in Africa. Wait, what? Army massacres 200 villagers. Burkina Faso's army executed more than 200 <clears throat> civilians. This, it's wild. 223 villagers. Well. Wow wild stuff buff ip said destiny is like uh, aristotle compared to these two guys also you should look up a video called xqc saying things he has a one total brain cell uh but, more he's, he's more he's more like socrates he's more like socrates if you're comparing the argument style socrates oh, yes, socrates yes. just keeps asking questions of yeah. clarification and stuff and then he gets you to completely contradict yourself and your entire worldview comes crumbling to the ground that's that's what he's destiny drilling. just did he's drilling and he says, I don't know anything. I'm just asking. Uh, he has one total brain cell. This is very, very XQC phobic. Uh, Iron Kippa said, I had to make my own Quran eating goat. Fantastic. Now I have nice. an excuse to tell all my friends about that. Can he wear the goat? Can we hear the goat? Not can he wear the goat? Can we Again? Hear the goat? No. Yes. <laughs> Woohoo! Based autistic said, Australia, you terrorists need to chill. Uh, literally place system in a cooler. Sounds like a Schwarzenegger joke from Batman and Robin. <laughs> Corrick said sneakers using sneakers using morality argument for God while following Islam to try to win a debate. I really don't understand at this point why sneaker was there at all, no. what his motive was. It's just it looks like humiliation fetish. Yeah, he looks like it. Yeah, it's weird. Hey yo, I gotta cut out. I uh, gotta get jump on live with Robert. So I will catch you all. Maybe we'll go live tomorrow. We'll see what happens. Yes, I will finish these super chats, and then you will be live on Dre and on Robert's channel in about, yep, about five to ten minutes. About, no, because Robert goes live on time, so like three minutes, three or four minutes. On who goes on live on time? This is ridiculous, man. Old people, that's who. 
<laughs> all right, catch you all. <laughs> catch you all later. Oh, by the way, uh, uh, any of you channel members, if you missed it, there is a video in uh, the community chat. If you're a channel member, uh, everyone else, there'll be a video up tomorrow. Yeah, David is running. He's scared. He's running. Get the hell out of here. Okay. Um. <laughs> Yeah, you can watch David in four minutes on Robert Spencer's channel. Um, I will finish these super chats. There are very few left, and then and then we'll see each other once again. Upon Zyrat and said, uh, "Hello, AP and David Wood. He's gone. Uh, what do you think about Turkish TV? Um, I don't know. I honestly don't want to answer any questions about Turkey at the moment anymore because Turkey is just a trash hole." and i'm not part of it anymore and i'm happy of it i'm happy with that i'm proud of that i'm so proud that i'm not part of turkey anymore we're proud of that crusader said paying the second installment of jizya for exposing islam don't ask anymore in april thank you so much you have thereby been spared from being killed tree of good and evil said first time catching you guys live ap repent and believe so we can have a book titled Athe seeking atheistic losery finding the truth so oh, you crusader said paying advanced jizya for the month of may please don't kill me Okay, I can't guarantee anything. Uh, Banzai Rutin said, catching you both live after a long time. Thank you for your recent work. Love from Mars. God bless you both. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Always nice to see people from Mars here. Although David doesn't like you guys because of your accent and your criminal history. Beatrice said, I have a dream that I will marry a six-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> Muhammad. Well, well, well. Cristiano Ronaldo, Jesus said the eye is the lamp of the body. Prophet Mohammed says the eye is the letter strap of the anus. Evidence is clear. LOL. Yeah, somebody should make a make a meme side by side of Jesus saying whatever he says about eyes and Mohammed saying whatever he said about eyes. And Mohammed's wise words were the eyes are the letter strap of the anus. My TV says a video of Shura Council of Qatar came on memory TV about annihilating Israel. This shouldn't be news anymore. In every Muslim country, in every Arab culture, people always fantasize of annihilating Israel and also of annihilating the Jews. It's true. That's what they do. Urinating upon one another. That's what they do. Uh, Joshua said, from the seesaw the, to the swing, Muhammad's eyes would always be, you're finished. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Thank you. Is it true when Muhammad first saw Aisha, she had been ill, her hair had fallen out, and she looked like a boy, according to her. Yeah, uh, the, the, the narrative goes that they were married at the age of six. Then she became ill and her hair started falling out. And... At some point in the future, when she was playing with her friends, her parents picked her up and made her ready for Muhammad. And she was nine years old when that happened, when Muhammad took her and climbed on top of her like the pedophile and rapist that he was. Eternal Vigilance said, thank you both for all you do. God bless you. No, you. Thank you, Eternal Vigilance. Appreciate it. Uh, Nikhil Saka said, how is it child rape if the parents consent? Sneeko, probably. <laughs> Those who don't know should know that this is an actual quote by Muslim apologist Fareed. Poon Tigger's mom made a super sticker. Thank you so much. I want to go um, off, not go off, but end the stream right here in about one minute. Because I dislike being live at the same time that somebody else that I know is live. Because I don't. Because I know that everyone is going to be watching me instead of them. Because this channel is more important than their channels. And yeah, yeah. I just go said Quran sixty five four thirty three forty nine. Allah wants your kids and your pets. Right hands possess. This is true. Very based. Sahih Christian. Hey, what's up, Sahih Christian? I swear by Ezra, the Christian kid that humiliated Sneeko at Speaker's Corner and has only been a Christian for three months. Huh. I need to, I need to, I, need to, I, I will believe it when I see it. Sankey, David Wood, same gematria as witness truth, Christian. Apostate prophet, same gematria as has exercised all demon, atheist. Draw your own conclusions. This is true. This is true. This is true. 
That's a good point. Kai said, my body is developed back in Saudi, but I just learned addition in the U.S. <laughs> this is just getting out of hand. Uh, RD, what do you say in response to Muslim apologists who say, but in the U.S., the legal age of consent is 16 in lots of states. And we don't condemn that. Um, is it actually? I thought that in, in the U.S. it is generally put at the age of 18. I don't know. In Europe, it is much lower in general compared to the US. But that's not the point. The point is that Islam as a religion uh, has no age limit. If you set an age limit and say this and say um, marrying and having sex below this age is not allowed, that would be considered an invention, a bidah, a sin by Islamic standards. And Islam already presents an example through Muhammad, the most perfect human being, according to Islamic, uh, according to the Quran. And Muhammad himself married the little girl when she was six and had sex with her when she was nine. So, and, and you can't judge that as wrong and change it. That's the problem. You can always uh, come to new findings and new conclusions based on science and reason and all that uh, in, in, the, in, the, in the modern world. You can't do that in Islam. That's the problem with Islam. Because it's it says, this is the rule, nothing else. That's what we do. Infinite Oneness, David Wood, can you please help Robert get Shadow Channel? Not able to super chat takes away from fun. We can discuss the uh, stuff with Robert. I should tell him about that. I'm pretty sure that they are aware of it. Yeah. Okay, I will read a few more here and then I'm leaving. Buzzfish, I just read Seeking Allah, Finding Jesus. Been watching your stream, had no idea you were in that book. This is probably in reference to David, not me. Not probably, most definitely. It broke my heart. How can I drop everything and be ready to die for Jesus? I will send this message to David. I promise. We said, API, stop my Bible reading to join the stream. Jesus loves you. Nothing from your past is too much for Christ. Love you, David Wood. Thank you. Appreciate it. Mark Thomas, my wife wanted to tell me about her day. I gave her a whiteboard. <laughs> I bought her for her and asked her to write it down. She hit me with it. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. This is a beautiful story. This is what I like to see. Alex, invite Ananda to the call. He cooked Sneeko in Speaker's Corner. Where heck he, can he contact to get you into the call? We will do that on a different day, on my channel or on David's channel. Um, we'll do that soon. He'll get in touch with David, or David will get in touch with him. Uh, Yeshua the King said, those that use the mental mentally mature argument still have an issue because that method only works in modernity. So before science, they only had physical. Yep. But as Farid says... It is a metaphysical matter. Uh, John Choi, Trump vowed, vowed to get to deport all Hamas sympathizers in the country and ban visas to them. I need to see what Trump says. NPC said, imagine having a debate about what age you should have sex with a female in the 21st century. This is exactly what an NPC would say. An actual real Chad will agree with whatever Muhammad did. Uh, no, don't be a pedophile. And thanks for watching. Go ahead and uh switch over if you want to see it to Robert Spencer's channel, Jihad Watch a Video. Uh, I believe some people posted the link to it in the chat. Put, feel free to post it again, whoever is doing it, including my wife. Uh, post the link so people can um switch over to that. I will be gone, and I will see you again most likely tomorrow on David's channel and then again on Saturday. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. Uh, much love to Destiny, by the way, despite being a complete degenerate. Uh, <laughs> just kidding. Uh, he totally crushed and destroyed the guy, and he is just he's a fantastic debater. Yeah. I wouldn't want to go and debate Destiny. Most people who understand the way he debates would be would would have great difficulty with destiny. And Sneeko, the idiot, really thinks, Oh, I'm gonna jump into this chat. I'm gonna challenge destiny. What an idiot, man. Anyway, stay away from Islam and see you tomorrow. And as always, stay away from Islam. And also stay away from Islam.